Hello and welcome to the Insider's Guide to Vantage Point. This tutorial describes chart properties. During this tutorial, you will learn how to customize your chart with any imaginable combination of fonts, background colors, data ranges, predicted differences, forecasts, technical indicators, line colors, and widths. You can apply your custom settings to one chart, all open charts, or set as the new default. Begin by opening a chart for one or more markets. In this example, I open the metals portfolio, and this portfolio includes a chart for each market that is included in the metals category. Then, left click to choose the tab that corresponds to the chart that you would like to customize. Or, Keep in mind that you can customize one chart and then apply the customization settings to all open charts. Do a single right click anywhere on the chart and then select Properties from the drop down menu. The next screen that comes up is called Chart Properties. If you need to, do a single left click on the tab called General and we'll start by taking a look at these general settings. Changing most of these settings is very straightforward and intuitive, so we'll just discuss them briefly. If you did want to change the font style and size that are displayed on the charts, click the font style button, and then on the font screen, select the desired font, font style and size from the drop down list, click apply, and then OK to exit the font screen. To change the background color of the chart, click the down arrow to the right of the box, and then left click to select the desired color. Left click to remove the check marks from the boxes to the left of Show Title and Show Grid Lines if you do not want the title or grid lines to appear on the chart. The crosshair setting controls the appearance and behavior of the chart cursor, and you can select vertical, horizontal, or a combination of vertical and horizontal, and then left click in the box to the left of follow mouse if you want the cursor to follow the movements of your mouse. And finally, data range allows you to set the amount of data that is displayed on the chart. To do this, click the down arrow to the right of Type, and you can see there are several um, preset data range selections from two weeks to five years. You can left click to select one of these, or click the down arrow to the right of Type and select Custom from the list. When you select Custom, you are then able to set a specific from or specific to date. For example, if we did not want the data to end on Friday, August 15th, you could click the down arrow to the right, and this brings up a calendar. Click the arrow that points to the left to move to earlier months and years. Then when you find the desired month and year, Left click on the specific day, and that selects the day, clears the calendar screen, and then puts the selected date in the box labeled 2. And you can follow a similar procedure to set a different from date. And there's one more option for data range type. Click the down arrow to the right, and then select days from the drop down list. This allows you to set a specific number of days to display on the chart. You can change the number by clicking the arrows to the right of the box to increase or decrease the number, or you can simply click in the box and type the desired number of days. And that concludes our look at the General tab. Now. Click on the Indicators tab, and on the Indicators tab you have uh, many options. 
for choosing how you want to display actual market data, predicted differences, predicted forecasts, and predicted technical indicators. And we'll take a quick look at each one of these. Use the options in the actual market data section to control how Vantage Point displays the actual data that is obtained from your data provider. And you can choose one option from the column on the left in combination with any number of options from the column on the right. For example, I can display my actual market data as candlesticks or bars or a line on close, or I can remove bars, candlesticks, or line on close by selecting none. I'll select candlesticks, and I can then combine my candlesticks with volume, open interest, line on high, and line on low, any combination of these or none of these. The next section is called predicted differences. And the predicted differences are comparisons between predicted moving averages and actual moving averages. And they can be used to forecast strengthening or weakening market trends. You can select any number of predicted differences to apply to the chart. In the predicted forecast section, you can choose to chart the predicted high and predicted low price or select one of the four predefined crossover charts or none to remove predicted forecasts from the chart. Click Custom and if desired on the custom forecast screen you can select any combination of actual trends, predicted high, and predicted trends. It is possible to select any or all of the indicators on the custom forecast screen. Click OK to exit the screen. And finally, in the predictive technical indicators section, you can select any number of the predictive technical indicators that are displayed. Now, click on the Line Styles tab. And this is very straightforward. The settings on the Line Styles tab control the color and width of the selected lines. For example, click on Predicted High to select it, and you can see that currently the color is red and the width is 2. To change the color of this line, click the down arrow to the right of the box labeled Color, and then left click to select the desired color from the box. To change the width, click the down arrow to the right of this box and then select the desired width. Now I bet at this point you're expecting me to say something like, click on the Custom Trend Lines tab. However, that's not going to happen. Custom Trend Lines are really a bit different than the other customization options that we looked at and as a result, they will be discussed in depth in a different tutorial. Now we discussed the options on the General Indicators and Line Style tab, and along the way we made some changes. Now, if you click Apply, Vantage Point applies these changes to only the selected chart. However, when you click Apply to All, Vantage Point will apply the changes to all open charts. And here's one more feature that is very exciting and can save you a lot of time on configuration. This feature is covered in depth in its own separate tutorial, so I'll just show it to you now briefly. Click the down arrow to the right of Default Chart Properties. And if you select Save as Default from the menu, Vantage Point will save these custom settings and use them as the new default each time it opens a new chart. This completes the tutorial on basic chart properties. Please remember to watch the tutorials on custom defaults and custom trend lines to learn more about these features.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please visit the Market Technologies Learning Center for additional tutorials.